The Neutral Theory of Molecular Evolution, unraveling the role of genetic drift, are neutral, driven largely by random genetic drift. This concept has reshaped our understanding of genetic diversity, evolutionary dynamics, and the mechanisms behind molecular changes in life forms. While natural selection is a powerful force in shaping phenotypic traits, the neutral theory emphasizes that not all molecular changes are adaptive. Many changes in DNA and proteins occur by chance and accumulate without any significant impact on survival or reproduction. Impact on evolutionary research. The neutral theory significantly influenced how evolutionary biologists approach the study of genetic variation. By suggesting that a substantial portion of molecular changes do not affect fitness, the theory led to the recognition that not all genetic diversity is the result of selection. Instead, some of it is simply the byproduct of random processes like genetic drift. This understanding has broadened the scope of evolutionary research, emphasizing the role of stochastic factors in shaping the genomes of organisms. One important consequence of the neutral theory is its, here's the text to process, contribution to the understanding of molecular clocks. By identifying that neutral mutations accumulate at a constant rate, scientists have been able to use genetic differences between species to estimate divergence times. This has been a crucial tool in tracing evolutionary lineages, determining when different species last shared a common ancestor, and constructing phylogenetic trees. Genetic drift and population genetics. The concept of genetic drift, central to the neutral theory, plays a major role in population genetics. It proposes that in small populations, genetic changes can occur purely by chance, regardless of whether those changes offer any survival advantage. In larger populations, selection pressure is typically stronger, and advantageous mutations tend to rise in frequency, while deleterious ones are eliminated. However, in smaller populations, the effects of genetic drift are amplified, and neutral mutations can spread simply due to random chance. This randomness in genetic drift can help explain the maintenance of certain genetic traits in populations that do not necessarily improve the fitness of individuals. For example, in a population with little selective pressure, neutral mutations may accumulate over time without being selected for or against, leading to an increase in genetic diversity that might not be immediately tied to evolutionary adaptations. Explaining high levels of genetic diversity. One of the key insights of the neutral theory is its explanation for the high levels of genetic diversity observed in many species, including humans. The accumulation of neutral mutations over time has resulted in vast genetic variation, even among closely related species. This genetic diversity is often not linked to specific adaptations to the environment, but is instead a consequence of random changes in the DNA sequence. In fact, some of the genetic differences between individuals or species are neutral, and do not contribute to survival advantages or disadvantages. In humans, for example, genetic diversity exists across populations due to both selective and neutral processes. While some genetic variations confer advantages, such as resistance to disease, other variations are simply the result of genetic drift, with no impact on fitness. This understanding of genetic diversity helps explain why closely related species or populations may still exhibit significant molecular variation even when they occupy similar ecological niches. Role of natural selection in the neutral theory. Although the neutral theory places great emphasis on neutral mutations and genetic drift, it does not completely disregard the role of natural selection. In fact, the theory suggests that natural selection operates only on a minority of mutations, those that have significant positive or negative effects on fitness. Most genetic changes, however, are neutral with little to no impact on the survival or reproductive success of an organism. For example, mutations in regions of DNA that do not affect the functioning of essential proteins may be considered neutral, while those that change the structure of key proteins or affect gene regulation may be subject to natural selection. These adaptive changes contribute to an organism's fitness and are more likely to spread through a population. Whereas neutral mutations to accumulate without influencing an organism's evolutionary trajectory. Molecular evolution and the neutral theory. Today, today, the neutral theory continues to play a crucial role in our understanding of molecular evolution. It has provided a framework for studying genetic variation at the molecular level and has influenced the development of computational tools. That estimate, evolutionary relationships, 
By analyzing genetic sequences, scientists can identify conserved regions of DNA, track the accumulation of neutral mutations, and infer the timing of evolutionary events. Furthermore, the neutral theory has been essential in areas like molecular forensics, conservation biology, and the study of human evolution. By using the molecular clock to estimate the divergence of species, researchers can trace human ancestry, study the migration patterns of ancient populations, and uncover the genetic basis of diseases. It has also helped clarify the role of genetic variation in adaptation, population structure, and speciation. Conclusion The neutral theory of molecular evolution has profoundly influenced evolutionary biology by reshaping our understanding of genetic diversity, the role of genetic drift, and the mechanisms of molecular evolution. It highlights the importance of neutral mutations and genetic drift in shaping the molecular landscapes of life while still acknowledging the power of natural selection in driving adaptive evolution. This theory has been instrumental in advancing the study of molecular evolution, offering new perspectives on how genetic diversity arises and how species evolve over time. By continuing to study the principles laid out by Kimura, modern evolutionary biologists can explore the complex interplay of random and selective forces that drive the evolution of life on Earth. Whether it is in understanding the evolution of disease resistance or tracing the deep evolutionary history of species, the neutral theory remains a vital part of the scientific toolbox for understanding how life evolves at the molecular level.